In this video, we're gonna be adding some testimonials to our WordPress website. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're gonna be adding some testimonials to our WordPress website. A testimonial is, you know, a quote or something that someone said about you, probably a nice thing, like you're a wonderful company or you offer a great service. And you obviously wanna put these onto your website and show off how great you are. I found a great plugin that allows you to do this really easily. It's fully responsive and it's got loads of different layout options. Here's a few examples of them on the screen now. Uh, it's gonna take you about five, 10 minutes to set up and uh, you'll be up and running in no time. So let's get on the computer and get it set up. Okay, so the plugin we're gonna be using today is called the Testimonials WordPress plugin, which is an interesting name, but hey, let's go with that. It's a premium plugin, uh, the cost is $18. Um, as you'll know if you watch any of my videos, I always tend to go for premium plugins and themes and stuff when I can. I find they're of a much higher quality and you get updates and all that sort of stuff. So uh, it's $18. The plugin does everything that we need. You get some great looking uh, testimonials and as I said, uh, an intro with the slider or a grid or as a list, you can have pictures and stars and, and all sorts of cool stuff. So um, you need to come over to uh, Code Canyon to make the purchase. I'll put a link up uh, on the screen. It's an affiliate link if you use it, thank you very much. Uh, I've already got a copy, so I just need to download it again. So let's go into my downloads. And that'll do fine in the uh, documents folder. Once you downloaded it, um, if you just browse on your computer and find the zip file, and then extract it. And then within there, you'll find another zip file and that's the one we're gonna be uploading uh, to our WordPress website. Okay, so I've got a test website here. It's just a standard fresh install of WordPress. Um, nothing really going on. So we'll just add these testimonials to the homepage here so you can get an idea of how it works. So I'm already logged in, let's go into the dashboard and we're gonna install the plugin now. So let's go to plugins and add new. And then I'm gonna click upload plugin. So let's uh, select the plugin on our computer. So I'm gonna click choose file and then into documents where it is. And I'm gonna go into the folder that we just uh, extracted and find this tmls underscore testimonials.zip which was within that folder. Click okay and then click install now. Okay, and then we'll click activate plugin and we're ready to add some testimonials. So to add a testimonial, we're going to the testimonials section and click add new testimonial. And let's fill in some details, Bob Smith, position, director, company name, uh, wordpress.com. Oh no, let's just call it WordPress. Company website, wordpress.com. <clears throat> Uh, we can upload a logo. I happen to have one on my computer, so let's just go and find that. Um, there we go, it's the WordPress logo. And we scroll down, we can add an email address. Give it a rating, so that's the stars, let's give it five stars. Then you add your testimonial in this box here. Done like that. Then when we're done, we go up here and click publish. You can add some categories if you like. So maybe you wanna have different testimonials for different pages, then you'd use categories. So maybe this would be, you know, um, service testimonials. Then you might have another category that's, you know, product testimonials. It's really gonna depend on what you're gonna be using your testimonials for. Just add it to the service testimonials category like that. Leave that one ticked. Click publish. There we go. So now to add a testimonial, you've got a number of options. Uh, the first one is to generate a short code. So if we go over here and click generate short code, uh, let's call it um, homepage testimonials. And you can select the category that it pulls them from, so I'll leave it as all categories, but you know, if you're gonna have certain testimonials on certain pages, that's when you'd select the category that you wanna show. And you've got some options here in terms of layout, whether you want uh, a slider, 
a grid, a list, how many items you want to show. You got some style here. So you can use avatar images, which I think will be pulled in using the email address. Um, so let's just do that like that. Probably Bob Smith doesn't have a um, an avatar, so I'll, I'll change that in a second so that it comes up. Uh, you can select your stars. Basically, there is tons of tons of different options that you can play around with. Um, but I'll keep it as it is for now. That looks pretty good. Let's click publish. No, I, oh, then I just need to copy this little bit of text here. And then if we head over to the home page, where we'll add it, and I'll edit the page. Just paste that in like that. Then click update. If we go and have a look at the home page. Okay, so there's our testimonial. So to add an avatar, um, if we just go back in and edit the testimonial, I thought it was to do with the email address, but it's not actually. It is the um, featured image down here, I believe. So I've got this image here I just uploaded during that quick edit of me. Let's click update. So if you just set that as your featured image, let's go back and have a look now. There we go. So that's it, you're all done. Um, good luck adding your testimonials. If you get stuck or anything like that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, bye for now.